So if I send it in Amazon, my net profit's 1343. What up, YouTubes? It's Suburban Beard. I'm taking you on a two-part adventure uh, because I was there for about three hours. Uh, this is one of the liquidation stores near my house, and it's kind of me just going through, figuring stuff out, learning some stuff, and seeing what I can buy and make money on. Little wholesale retail arbitrage, WRA, if you will. Anyways, um. Yeah, enjoy. Uh, there's some good background music, some fun. I meet up with my friend Tim, hear some of the discussion, and we'll go from there. This is kind of just the excursion of digging through, seeing what I can get my hands on, uh, seeing if there's anything worthwhile, and also my, sorry for stuttering, my next step in the evolution of what I'm doing is I really want to start selling packages, lots of stuff, where if I can find 15, 20, or 30 of one item and sell that off. So obviously if you get the price low enough, I can sell it off as opposed to selling a bunch of individual items. Um, I just like that idea of moving product faster and getting things in and out of my warehouse, aka the garage. Now even though this is a two-part video I'm going to do, um, this one will be coming out, you're watching this, most likely on the 9th of August, which I think is a Friday? I don't remember. Thursday. Thursday. Anyways. Um, and then Friday I'll have the other part finished for you. So uh, <clears throat> is the other side of the whole building, which will be in tomorrow's video, um, on, I'm sorry, Saturday's video. Uh, it's where I dig in. They have some stuff that's even more expensive. Uh, and by expensive, I mean five, seven dollars. Um, some things are 15, 20, and then they have some other stuff even higher. Uh, but all of it is drastically below uh, retail on any level. So technically, anything you get your hands on, you can make money on. Um, but with that being said, it's, you know, how much are you willing to make per item? So if you're 
less sub 10 cents per item and you make two dollars it's amazing return on investment but how much time do you have invested to making that happen so uh yeah here we go So I don't know if you can tell in a lot of it, but almost every item you pick up in these bins has the same label that you put onto items if you do Amazon FBA. Uh, it's the same label that you'll see. It has its own barcode and everything else that, that matches to it. So the advantage to that is it, it is a little easy or easier to look up what an item is if you really have no clue. Um, you know, there's always a miniature description. If you send that to Amazon, you can usually find the, the item if, if it, because that barcode won't scan for you. Um, now, that being said, since this is a liquidation, like the receipt doesn't even have a UPC or barcode. So this stuff cannot be sent in as new to Amazon. Uh, most of this stuff I do turn into uh, eBay sales and things like that, unless it's books and uh, I find a couple of those coming up. But uh, yeah, so, a lot of Amazon returns in here and uh, yeah hope you enjoy Pods, if you didn't have the original, but they don't charge it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to change up the way I do some of this shopping because some of this stuff, like, I'd get and it'd be okay, you know what I mean? But then, like, some stuff I sit on and then it's like I put a ton of time into other stuff that doesn't offload, you know what I mean? And it's like I need to stop spending the time listing a hundred items that are only going to make me three four dollar profit each yeah you know where so what i've been looking for on here like if i find a lot of something right so like five of the same thing or something like that that i you know because it's 12 items for a dollar right so I was like, if I find enough of the same item, and then I can lot them up and sell them as a whole, it's at least making twenty dollars, right? Instead of just five here and there. So yeah, it's, it's been getting back and forth, man. It's, it's almost like that. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's the problem is you've got a higher. Right. I mean, you got a bigger high end cost, but if you're making $20, $30 per item, right? You know, pennies on the dollar. You don't have to do it But see, the nice thing is, some of this thrift stuff, like that, I don't know if you saw that picture I sent out, right? So like that that stereo system I bought for a dollar sold for 95. You know what I mean? That's good. That's good. And it's like, but I think I spend too much time doing too much of this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's why, like, I'm here looking for Amazon and eBay. So here's my...
these I'm still trying to decide if I want to buy. So they're they're twelve for a dollar. They're here. I'll show you the app I use. So if I send it in Amazon, my net profit's thirteen forty three. Oh, that's cool. When they sell for nineteen ninety nine. So cost per unit twelve for a dollar. So what? Let's say ten cents. You know what I mean? Like just for. Let's say if I even had to drop the price to compete. Still making nine dollars per item. Two thousand percent over. Now, but when it's Amazon, I don't mind a lower return on investment because I don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? Right. That's the thing. I send it to Amazon. They ship it. They deal with customer service. Everything for me. But that's the other thing I was in here. I wanted to look at all the other stuff they have. Because all their orange tag stuff, like not, this is 12 for a dollar, but like their regular items that are in the orange tag on are 50% off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this? Here's him, get in. This is my favorite part, right here. Hey everyone, I truly hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, always please feel free to comment below if either I missed something or you want to see me do something else. And as always, please share, like, subscribe, smash the bell notification icon to become part of the Suburban Beard Notification Squad. And as always, uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.